Okay now folks, I have traveled east from Jani Jyot. This is Baldi Purva. Baldi Purva meaning where the Buddha's statue, Yun Sang saw the Buddha's statue facing towards the east. That is what Baldi Purva means. Sitting cross-legged, facing towards the east. Folks, this is the village and in this village there were two there was a 60 feet Sangrama and a 60 feet temple which competed with each other. How I came to this conclusion, please view this video till the end. Now I showed you uh, Zhang Zhang, it's actually it's not me showing you, it's Zhang Zhang showing you. I showed you uh, Devdatpur where Devdat died trying to kill the Buddha. And then I showed you Jani Jyot where Kukli the Bhikshuni tried to slander the Buddha and died there. And then I showed you Gadwa where uh, Chancha the Brahman's daughter tried to slander the Buddha and died. Now, the, uh, to the east of Jani Jyot is Baldi Purva. Baldi Purva is a very interesting story and it's a very interesting place, Baldi Purva. What happens is, according to Zhang Zhang, what do you call it? There are two, uh, what do you call it? There is one uh, Sangrama, Buddhist Sangrama and a Hindu temple. The Buddhist Sangrama <coughs> is 60 feet high. And the Hindu temple is equally as high. So, basically what happens is, uh, during the morning, during the morning, the, uh, the Buddhist Sangrama's shadow covers the Hindu temple. And in the evenings, when the Hindu temple shadow should cover the uh, uh, Buddhist Sangrama, it fails. Now, folks, uh, this is one very uh, cute, hilarious, ancient competition between Hindus and Buddhists that the Buddha, both were 60 feet high, the Buddhist Sangrama and the Hindu temple. But uh, in the mornings, what do you call it? The Buddhist uh, Sangrama, would, uh, sh uh, the, its shadow would cover the Hindu temple. And in the evening, when the Hindu temple's uh, shadow should cover the Buddhist Sangrama, it failed. So, and but uh, what do you call it? Zhang Zhang says he saw a statue of a stone statue of the Buddha sitting cross legged facing the east. That is what Baldi Purva means. He saw a stone statue of the Buddha sitting cross legged and facing to the east in the Buddhist Sangrama. So, Baldi Purva was the Buddhist Sangrama. Baldi means sitting cross-legged and Purva means the east. So it was sitting cross-legged uh, uh, peering to the east. Folks, check out what Zhang Zhang has to say and then you can see the place in your satellite pictures and then I will show you the places of uh, uh, the uh, pictures of Baldi Purva. Folks, nowadays those Sangramas aren't, uh, isn't existent. But the name is there, the story is there. So folks, such weakness are only available in my page, Buddha Exhumed. Check out what Zhang Zhang has to say. Now let's see where this unique competition between Hindus and Buddhists took place. East of the Sangrama, 60 to 70 paces, is a Vihara about 60 feet high. There is it in a, a figure of Buddha looking to the east in a sitting posture. When Tathagat was in the world in old days, he discussed here with the heretics. Further east is the Deva temple of equal uh, rise with the Vihara. When the sun is rising, the Deva temple does not cast its shade on the Vihara. But when it is setting, the Vihara obscures the Deva temple. See, this is a unique competition. During the day when the Deva temples, uh, what do you call it, shadow should cover the Vihara, it fails to cover the Vihara, but in the evenings, but when the sun is setting, the Vihara obscures the Deva temple. 
So this was a small miracle in favor of Buddhists. You know, it's competition of those days. Anyway, where is this? East of the Sangrama, 60 or 70 paces is a Vihara, about 60 feet high. There is in it a figure of Buddha looking to the east in a sitting posture. Now where is the figure of the Buddha looking to the east in a sitting posture? Folks, here is your Jani Jyot. Devdatpur, where Devdat died, Jani Jyot, where Kukli the Bhishni died, and Gadwar, where Chancha the Brahman's daughter died. Now, <coughs> we go here, see this dot. Baldi Purva. Baldi Purva means to sit cross legged looking towards the east. Baldi Purva means cross legged uh, sitting and looking towards the east. So this is where uh, the Vihara was with uh, where the Zhang Zhang saw a statue of Buddha sitting cross-legged looking towards the east. And this is the Vihara which would uh, cover the Deva temple with its uh, what call it shadow in the evenings. But the Deva temple equally tall Deva temple failed to cover uh, with its shadow. Uh, the Vihara. Folks, check out the pictures of. Okay, Baldi now, folks, I am in Baldipurva. Look at this beautiful, what do you call it, uh, banana uh, uh, agriculture, banana fields. See, these are the young Turks of uh, what do you call it, Baldipurva. Zhang Zhang came here after visiting the, uh, what do you call it, Kukshil Kugli Mikshumi Stupa where Kukli the Vikshunis landed the Buddha and uh, fell down into hell and died according to Zhang Zhang. He takes us east to a place where he saw a statue of the Buddha sitting cross-legged facing to the east. Now see this is very important. Buddha forbade statue worship. So you, uh, Zhang Zhang hardly saw Buddha's statues. So when he sees a Buddhist statue, he notes it down. So this is Baldi Purva. He saw a Buddha statue sitting cross-legged facing the east. See, uh, the Buddha, in fact today also Hindus, it is auspicious to sit facing the east or do anything, uh, what do you call it, new facing the east. It is regarded as auspicious. See, it has come down from the Buddha himself. The Buddha was always facing the east. So this, he, uh, Zhang Zhang sees this statue of the Buddha sitting cross-legged facing the east. Of course, the statue will be somewhere uh, under this village uh, in some stupa or it may have been stolen. So basically, the Baldi Purva means that. Now Zhang Zhang merits a very nice huge story of competition between Hindus and Buddhists. Of course, Zhang Zhang is a Buddhist, so he writes from the Buddhist point of view. The, there was a <coughs> 63 feet high, tall, uh, Buddhist Sangrama. And next to it, there was a uh, Hindu temple of same height, the steeple of the same height. So, in the mornings, when the shadow of the, the uh, Buddhist Sangramas Shadow would cover the Hindu temples, uh, what do you call it? But in the evenings, when the Hindu temple shadow should cover the uh, Buddhist Sangramas, the Hindu temple shadow failed to cover the Buddhist Sangrama. So it was in the morning always the Buddhist Sangrama would cover the Hindu temple and the Hindu temple would fail to cover the Buddhist Sangrama. So this was a very unique, uh, what do you call it? Um, competition and folks uh, the villagers they pray to one of the Buddha's many names so the Buddha is the local uh, what you call it uh, village deity so I hope you like this video and uh, found it enter entertaining if you did so don't forget to follow like and subscribe to my page Buddha Exhume and stay tuned because my next video is the place where Sariputra he uh, debated with 
uh, Hindus, the heretics, the Hindus, and uh, won the debate. So stay tuned. Now, if you like this video of Baldi Purva, where Zagzai saw the Buddha, a statue of the Buddha sitting facing the east, and where he saw these two, uh, what do you call it, Sangramas and temple competing with each other in height. Folks, uh, don't forget to like, follow and subscribe this page with the exude and don't forget to say a solid prayer to Zhang Zhang for leading us to such vague places but important Buddhist stories.